Hello everybody, this is uh, second tutorial about C++ and uh, let me create the folder number 2, oops, I didn't create the folder 02, so we have 01 and we have 02 here, so let's go inside and <coughs> uh, I want to talk about if statement in uh, programming software we quite often need to answer to the question like and uh, if question yes if answer yes we are want to do one thing if answer no we want to do other thing so let's uh, write some simple program i call it if and inside i'm going to set age like let's set 13 for now 13 years and we are going to check like if age greater than 20 I'm going to print you are too old for this tutorial like this so you need to put um, if you want to check something if and then you have to put uh, parent parentheses around and the condition what you want to check and if uh, condition is um, true it's like the question here and if the answer is yes it will go here and will print uh, do some stuff inside here otherwise it would not do anything so let's try to compile our program if.cpp if yeah i forgot to include the library iostream now it's compiled and let me change the directory to 02 and run if and you can see there is nothing printed because the answer to this question age greater than 20 is done so let's change the age and let's say let's put like 25 recompile start run the program and um, it's printed you are told for this tutorial um, if you want to do multiple uh, statements like if you want to print something else let's see like if I want to just print some more things just kidding for instance and let's return to 13 right so what we expecting we expecting we want to print nothing in this case but actually we will see this line just kidding because it's check this thing and did not do anything and then it goes here but we want to group these two things to group things we are using uh, this this sign I forgot the name for this sign Cur curvy brackets right and if we do again the program would not print anything so let's put back h25 recompile you are told for this tutorial just kidding so this is a if statement let me talk a little bit more about it so what uh, we can use like we can use uh, sign greater what we learned now also there is a uh, more things for comparison like equal equal not equal greater what I mentioned less than greater and equal and less than equal so we can use these things to compare numbers and as you noticed for um, assigning things we are using one equal but for comp comparing we are using two equals don't be careful with this thing um, new programmers very often making this kind of mistake so sometimes we want to do in if answer yes one thing and if answer no we want to do some other thing in this case we can use statement else and uh, print uh, something here like if let's say h greater than 20 we can print your tool for this tutorial right and if it's less or equal than 20 we can print you are too young 
for this movie. So age 25 and we checking age greater than 20. Answer to this question yes. We go in this branch. Let's put 13. You are too young for this movie. Age 13. Answer to this question is no. And it, we go to this branch. And by the way, we do not require to put um, curvy brackets here because we are using only one statement. So we, you can see it compiles perfectly. Sometimes you want to combine some uh, conditions with um, Boolean logic. Let's say, um, like, let's say we can, let me start a new program, right? Field.cpp for rain. So we can say was rain. Yes, they equal true, auto equal true. And we can check these things. Was rain yesterday and like what is proper English to had? Uh, was rainy, right? Was rainy yesterday, was rainy two days ago. And uh, for end, we are using this sign so was rainy yesterday and was rainy two days ago and we can play print we cannot play soccer field is too muddy otherwise we will print we can play soccer let's compile this program rain.cpp rain so there is a two days was rainy so let's see what our program will print we cannot play soccer fields to muddy right let's see if yesterday wasn't rainy yeah we can play soccer let's see if two days in the row we didn't have any rain yeah we can play soccer and let's see yesterday was rainy but two days ago wasn't rainy yeah, we can play soccer. So um, we can use and 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 um, answer to the question yes in case if uh, both sides are answering to the question yes. And um, in computer science terminology, it's like true or false. Like there is a some statement and we are saying, oh yeah, this statement is true or this statement is false. So for end, both side of statement has to be true. There is a, in our thing, it's or, and for or, it's like two vertical lines. And or uh, returns true in case if one of statements is true. So it returns false only. Uh, in case then both statements are false and also uh, there is a um, not it's vertical uh, it's a uh, exclamation mark and uh, it's inverts the statement like if statement true it's making it's uh, inverting it and making it to false and if it's false it's inverting it making it to true let's say like uh, there is uh, some discount programs and um, sometimes it's discount works for kids or for senior people right and let's say we can set some age right <coughs> and discount can work if um, person younger than six years or age greater than 65 year you have uh your you do not have discount you do not have discount because neither this statement true neither this one so let's check five you have discount and let's check 70 you have discount 
and let me save this program as discount.cpp oops and this one as rain.cpp okay i think uh, it's enough for this tutorial thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time bye